If you didn't know already, momentum is a huge thing in the financial markets. Basically, momentum separates the strong performing instruments from the weak performing instruments. In fact, with value, that's where all the money goes. It's either value or momentum or both. In today's video, I will show you a very simple yet extremely effective indicator to measure momentum, which is rate of change. And make sure to watch till the end where I will show you a unique way to use rate of change to build breakout strategies and mirror version strategies, starting right now. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Statoasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading and everything else in between. We want to invest and trade the financial markets profitably using robust strategies inside portfolios. So rate of change is the same as price rate of change which is a momentum oscillator that measures the distance that the price travels in a certain period of time. So imagine this is the price on the y-axis and the time on the x-axis and this green line represents the price. So if we uh, take these points 75, 50 and 100, if we go from 75 to 50, that means we moved 33% down. And if we go to from 50 to 100, that means we move 100% up. That is momentum. So we're measuring the momentum, which is the price change in a certain period of time. So this certain period of time can be one day, one month, one year, 10 months. It's a number of bars basically that we are measuring this price change over. Which brings us to the slope. So in order to differentiate the moves per the time, we can measure the slope. So for example, if we move 100% in 100 days, our slope will be 1. But if we move 100% in 50 days, our slope will be 2 because we're dividing percent change by the number of days. And that's how we get the slope. So we can differentiate between a faster or a slower move. So while the rate of change or the price rate of change measures the change in price in a certain period of time, in order to compare multiple instruments, we need to fix that period of time or we need to measure the slope to see how fast it is moving. So if we want 1% in 10 days, that's different than 1% in 100 days. So the slope solved that problem by normalizing all the data. So we can measure the slope on multiple instruments to see which one is moving uh, the fastest. So this is a price chart of crude oil and this is the rate of change for 25 days. And the reason I did this is just to show you that it's just a percentage calculation. So of course when the oscillator goes below zero that means the price now is lower than it used to be this period ago which in this case 25 bars. And we can see here that the, the percent is the ROC is 2142 and we can see that the percent change is 21 uh, something. Uh, so that's 21%. Now, of course, you can change the period to anything you like. Uh, most likely you'll find it is 12 on most charts. So now this is the, the blue one is the rate of change over 100 bars. So when it's above zero, that means it's higher than 100 bars ago. And when it's below zero, of course, it's below. So we can see here that we are moving above uh, zero. So that means all these prices are above the prices 100 bars ago. And this is 10 ROC, 10 bars. So here we are below zero. That means here we are below the price 10 bars ago. And this is the difference. Of course, this measure percentage. So this is right now is whatever, 16%. And the red one is about 6%. Now, as you can see, it is almost erratic, uh, I mean, depending on the price changes. So you can plot a moving average on top of it. So here, for example, I put a uh, three period uh, moving average on top of it. So just to make it smoother, or you might just use the absolute number. So once we understand how the rate of change momentum oscillator works, it's unbounded. It goes above zero, below zero, depending on the percentage move and it works of course on all time frames because you can measure the percentage move in intraday and in monthly and yearly it doesn't matter of course the percent will change a lot like you would expect the percent changes over one year a lot higher than over five minute bar so you need to keep that in mind 
when comparing the results. If you don't have the indicator in your uh, platform, you can easily program it. So the rate of change is the current closing price minus the closing price and periods ago divided by the closing price and periods ago times 100 and that's how you get the percentage and if you want the roc slope then you divide this whole number by the number of bars okay so here we are in uh, algo wizard and strategy quantex where i build three blocks to have different way to use the rate of change so this is the slope and if you click on it you can see the slope of course is the percentage divided by the look back so for example if I'm looking for 20% move in 100 days, then the slope will be 0.2. And that is what I'm looking for. So in this case, I'm trading crude oil since 2008, one contract, uh, futures, no commissions. And if I run this strategy, you can see that the strategy is already profitable. That means I will go long whenever the, uh, the price makes a 20% move and we are exiting uh, after one day this is uh, just to test uh, the theory now once let's say i establish this is my uh, long trend i can add the short trend let's say over 20 bars i'm looking for a two percent move so now long term i have 20 percent uh, up and short term i'm just looking for two percent move and it's already we can see it makes the strategy much better. So this is a breakout strategy. We are going long when the price make a 2% move on the upside while we are long term on the upside. The idea is you have momentum and you have the slope and you can combine, mix and combine both of them. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to use it in a mirror version strategy. This is the ES and this is the long term. So over 100 days, I'm looking for 20% move on the upside. And since ES is a mirror version, then I should look for pullbacks in this uptrend. And I can easily do this with the ROC. So this is over five days, we are looking for 1% pullback in the long trend. And we can see we can have many combinations to do this to actually build a portfolio out of only these two lines. So keeping the long trend up, then we can look for pullbacks over two weeks, let's say 1% over two weeks, or 1% over two days, or 5% over one month. And when you combine these, they will actually not be correlated. So because obviously we have many, let's say 1% uh, down moves, but we have few 5% over one month uh, moves. But when you combine them, they are, they are not sitting in the same place so they will not be correlated. And now as a bonus, I'm gonna show you another way to use the rate of change in your building blocks. Once you build your custom blocks in SQX, they will show up in the building blocks, for example, here. And I run a simple uh, building blocks, which is only long using only these. And here are the strategies that uh, showed up. So these are on crude and look at this how strategy quantex uses <laughs> usually something that you will not think of so when i built the custom block i made the look back period a separate variable and what strategy quantex made uh, look at this so the close of main chart minus the close of uh, 187 bars ago but divided by 25 bars ago greater than 1.5 Usually we're dividing the number of bars ago the same here, but you know, SQX is a computer and because I had different variables, so it produced different values. And of course, by producing different values, we're getting different strategies. So look at this. It's always different value. And actually this is a nice feature of strategy Quantex, which I like because once you build custom block, the data mining will produce things that you never think of. So in this case, the shift in the close it's different than the look back period which is the end period usually the end periods are the same in the equation but just because i had two variables so it produced different uh, results so but it's a unique way to find other strategies where basically you're looking for 20 percent 
uh, move in a hundred days, but you're dividing by, I don't know, 37 days. So you get a different uh, ratio somehow. If you have any questions or comments, please do so below the video and I'll be more than happy to answer you. Also make sure to check out the discount offers below at no cost to you. These are for the services that I use in my trading journey. And if you want to be part of my inner circle where I give you tactical asset allocation portfolio trading signals alongside the weekly question and answer sessions and a free download of all the custom blogs that I built on the channel, then make sure to check out my Patreon link down below. As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.